show you some exercises now that are all about looking after your energy, resetting it to optimum levels. And I just wanted to say that a lot of what I'm going to teach you is taken from this book by Donna Eden, Energy Medicine, credit where credit is due. If you wanted to read more about that, you could. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is what we call the three thumps. This is all about resetting your body's energy systems, and you really need to do it every morning if you can. So find the points on your collarbone. It's usually two little nobbles there where the collarbone has a V, and there's two points at the top. Drop down from there, and you should find two little dents kind of in the bone. And you're going to take two fingers and just tap there firmly. Breathe while you're doing it, count to about 20. Then make your fingers into a nice line like that, and tap firmly in the middle of your sternum. That's your thymus under there. Okay. You want to breathe as you do it. And then you're going to make little points with your thumb and your first two fingers like that. Go straight down from your nipples to the edge of your ribs, where you feel the ribs curving away. And then go round towards the outside of your body just slightly, and your fingers should drop into the groove between two ribs. If you rub, especially on the left in a circle there, you might find it's a bit tender. The point on the left is related to your spleen function and can get quite sore, so give it a little rub if it needs it, and then just tap firmly, exactly the same way. Remember to breathe as you do it. Keep breathing. Okay, that's part one. Part two is you're going to put two fingers into your tummy button, two fingers straight between your eyes, and imagine you've got a piece of elastic running up here up the middle of your body, and what you're going to do is pull up. So pull all the way up as you breathe in. Okay, so you're going to take a big breath in and really feel that connection here, connecting up. Hold your breath for a minute and just focus on the feelings in your body. What you might find is that your heels drop down to the ground and you get a sense of something connecting right through the middle of you. So breathe in, hold for a minute, and then allow yourself to breathe out calmly. Do that three times and that's really helpful. Then what you need to do is zip yourself up. Remember there's this energy line that goes straight at the middle of the body. As you zip yourself up, you're going to use the palm of your hand just to trace that line as you breathe in to the chin and then breathe out. Do it three times. Think in terms of pulling up a big zip as you do that. That's actually also giving yourself a little bit of protection, strengthening that energy field around you so that things can't just get straight into you. Then the next thing we're going to do is keep toxins clearing, keep the body's systems flowing nicely. So first thing to do is find that groove on the body where your shoulder joins your torso. You have a line down there where quite often there's a seam on clothes. Put your fingers in there and rub in little circles, it might feel kind of gritty, a bit lumpy or knotty. So just rub round in little circles to clear those. That's all toxins collecting in your lymph duct and you want to clear that. Give that a nice little rub on both sides. You know, 30 seconds on each side is fine. Don't overdo it, but just keep it moving. And then you want to kind of go from the middle of your chest out to about there, if you can see where I am. You probably feel a little bit tender between two ribs at the top there and you're just going to rub into little circles again and keep that kind of knotty gritty feeling clearing away and the more you rub this the less tender it will be the tenderness is a sign that you've got a bit clogged up so keep going with it a little bit every day just to keep it moving but don't overdo it until you make yourself really sore okay and then last but not least we're going to do the cross crawl if you've ever seen brain gym you'll know all about it this is about connecting the left and right sides of your brain and helping them to be coordinated so you just simply walk, but consciously bring the opposite hand to the opposite leg. You can tap the knee like that, okay? Make sure as you're doing this, you're thinking about the right and left sides connecting here. Use your brain to join in with the exercise. You can do it behind, bring your foot behind. That's really good to do. That's actually doing a slightly different thing. And then you could also do a little bit of Saturday night fever, going out to the side like that. Always opposite arm to leg, okay? Do that a few times every day, especially if you feel like your brain's scattered or you've lost concentration. Keep doing those every day and you will start to feel better.